Hello and welcome. We're still talking sexual health for kids, and today we'll be um, looking at things you should tell your preteens and teenagers. You know, um, for the preteens, you we all know that it's the period where they go through puberty. They begin to experience changes in their bodies, and breasts are growing, and penises are growing bigger, and hair is growing everywhere. So it's um, a time to actually put them through whether they've started or if they haven't started, but especially if they haven't started, prepare them. Now for the girls, what you basically talk to them about is periods. What is period? You let them know that it's an important part of the female reproductive circle. And you talk to them about feminine hygiene, how to clean themselves, how to make sure that they're clean while they're on their periods, take baths at least twice a day. You also talk to them about um, products, sanitary pads. I'm saying this because, like I said in my other video, before I went to school, nobody told me anything about periods. And so I got to school and saw a lot of people going through periods. You know, it, it was a shock. And I went to buy a packet of sanitary pad for myself because I wanted to know what it felt like wearing pads. Okay. I took the pad. I didn't realize that there was a particular place that you place on the pants. That was the place that I, that was the part that I placed on my skin. And I guess it's as good as mine. What happened when it came to taking it off? So talk to them about that. And for the boys, you talk to them about erection, wet dreams. You know, what's erection? Erection is when the penis is filled with blood and it makes it hard. And for wet dream is when um semen seeps through their penises when they're sleeping let them know that it's very normal and it will stop at some point it's not something they're going to live with and it's something that every child their age would experience and for both of them in particular let them um talk to them about like i said hygiene because that's also the age where they tend to develop body odor so you need they need to really take care of themselves and you provide deodorants for them as well Talk to them about privacy. Nobody should see them naked. Nobody should touch them. And even when they are asked to do so, they shouldn't. And in the event that something like that happens, they should please report to you. But basically, the essence of this whole thing is to let them know that it's normal and assure them that nothing is wrong with them. Now for the teens, this is the time where a lot of parents will find it difficult to talk to their children, especially if they had not had prior talks with them regards um sexual health but basically what you're going to talk to them about is sex sex in the sense that you let them know the risks involved in having sex talk to them about hiv and aids talk to them about pregnancy talk to them about stis and um, in doing that you also um, emphasize abstinence abstinence so far is what would the best um, form of staying protected let them know that if they abstain from sex they do not face any risk of whether infections or diseases. You also talk to them about relationships. They might not tell you, but they probably will go into relationship. But what you will let them know is that there's healthy and unhealthy relationship. Unhealthy relationship is when they, be, they experience abuse. It could be physical, it could be sexual, it could also be verbal. Let them know that that's not something they should tolerate or um, excuse. Talk to them about content, especially the boys. It is important that they respect boundaries. You know, seek consent of whoever it is they're with, not just do whatever they want to do with anybody, whether it's just touching a girl's breast or whatever it is. If they do that, it constitutes crime. It's crime. It's sexual harassment. Okay, so they need to respect themselves, respect other people. You also want to talk to them about drug and alcohol abuse because... A lot of girls, believe it or not, have been raped while they were under the influence of these things, you know, substance and stuff like that. So a lot of um, teachings has to go into the issue of drug use, alcohol um, use, as well as sexual abuse in general. Let them know that they don't have to go through it. Physical abuse, they don't have to tolerate it as well. Let them know that you you're there for them you know in the event that any of these things happen they can come talk to you you also speak to them about personal hygiene um a lot of teenagers tend to just you know back down from you know most of us we grow up our parents giving us showers mornings and evening 
it gets to the point where the kids, when it's time for them to start taking over these things, they tend to lack in that um, area. So talk to them about personal hygiene. For girls, and this is very important, talk to mothers, talk to your daughters about nudes, sending nudes to people. This thing has become a problem. It's reoccurring, you know. Every time you hear reports of girls being blackmailed by boys um, who have naked pictures of them in, on their phones, talk to them that they do not need to send any of their nudes to anybody, what, no matter what the person tells them. Even if the person is trying to tell them, oh, you, if that's the only way that you're going to show you love me, tell them that anybody who loves them shouldn't be asking them for nudes. In any case, as let's even assume it's boys their age that are asking for that, they should refuse it. But if it is a man, it is it is wrong. It is a crime for a man to ask an underage child to send nude pictures to them. So if anything like this happens, they should please report to you. It is very important. Just last week, it trended a girl, an 18-year-old girl who was being blackmailed by some boy um, because she wouldn't date him again. She she threatened to he threatened to send out her pictures um, online. So please, parents, talk to your kids about these things. And also pressure. They're going to go through peer pressure, okay? While you're looking at them like kids, they actually see themselves as adults because they've said experience and they've gone through puberty, you know, they're on their own and stuff like that. So you need to really speak to them and um, help them make informed decisions and let them know that they don't have to be pressured into doing anything they're not ready to do, okay? You need to also keep the communication line open. This is not a talk that is a one-time, one-off Thing, you know you need to keep up with them give them the impression that they can talk to you about anything you know they have concerns or questions they can come to you and ask and you answer them sincerely and honestly but like i said you see them as kids they in their heads they believe they are adults so you need to put them through these things and let them know that while they feel that they are adults they need to make decisions that is right by them if they go have sex when they shouldn't, they stand the chances of getting infected with um, STIs, getting pregnant, you know, they should abstain. That's the best thing for them, abstain from sex. And like I always say, I don't buy the idea of using the model for virginity, you know, you have to be a virgin to get to your husband's house. So stop these kids from having sex. It's best to tell them that abstinence is the best, okay? Like I said, let them know the risk involved in having sex, especially unprotected sex, when you let them know that, okay, there are consequences for this thing, it's this um, engaging in sex when they're not supposed to, the, that would um, better help them make informed decisions, like I said. So we just keep talking to them, you know, even if your kids are not teenagers yet, like I said, there are things you can talk to them. If you're interested in what you can tell your three to um, eight year old, you can go to my page, check, and there's a video there that tells you what you can tell them. It's very easy. It might be uncomfortable, but it's easy and, and it's safer for everybody, it's safer for them. It's um, more peaceful for you as a parent if they know these things, um, you know, they have the information at the tip of their fingers. I'll see you next time.